Senator Lambert has the floor. Thank you. Mr. President, ladies and gentlemen of the Senate, we will not stop until the heavy weight of centuries of oppression is removed from our backs. And like proud men everywhere, we can stand tall together again. These words were spoken by the courageous man we honor here today, a civil rights leader whose courage and vision earned him the Presidential Medal of Freedom, awarded on January the 15th by President Clinton. It is particularly significant that we honor him this month during the observance of African American History Month. We here in Virginia are ver especially proud that Dr. James Farmer, not only because of his outstanding civil rights record, but because of his Virginia connections. Dr. Farmer could have settled anywhere and been successful anywhere in the United States, but he chose the beautiful Spotsylvania County. The renaming of the Multicultural Center at Mary Washington College, in your honor, Dr. Farmer, is but one example of the high admiration we hold for you. On this day, we proudly claim you as a Virginia hero and are very pleased that your legacy will be passed on to generations yet unborn. Destined for greatness, our hero entered school at the age of four and was a college freshman at 14, became a student of the renowned Dr. Howard Thurman of Howard University and later the Dean of the Divinity School at Boston University. And I had the pleasure when I was in Boston to hear him often. Almost, he almost became a minister, but he chose instead to devote his life to lifting the heavy weight of oppression from the backs of our people. <coughs> Dr. James Farmer, because all that you have done as a nonviolent fighter for freedom, justice, and equality, we are very proud to honor you for your sacrifices that you have made to bring us to where we are today. We are all beneficiaries of your civil rights efforts, and we pledge to you that we will continue the fight against oppression until like proud men and women everywhere, we can all stand together. And <clears throat> Mr. President, on a very personal note, we have the five members of the Congressional Black Caucus behind you, Dr. Palmer, and none of us would be here today if it hadn't been for you and men like you and Dr. King, Whitney Young, and Roy Wilkins. And we're very grateful because we can remember, too, that we could not ride on the bus anywhere we wanted to go or sit. And now we can get on the bus and make a choice of whether to sit in the front, in the middle, or in the back. And we can go to a store, a drugstore, a restaurant, and buy a soda and drink the soda at the counter. And we couldn't do that before your efforts. And Dr. Farmer, we can go to any university, particularly in the South, and not be escorted by the National Guard and ordered by the President of the United States. And we are very thankful as members of the Congressional and of the Virginia Legislative Black Caucus. Some of us might be congressmen one day. <laughs> 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 so we are particularly honored that you are here today. And at 2 o'clock, we would like to invite, on behalf of the Legislative Black Caucus, all of you to a reception at the beautiful new library across the street at 2 o'clock. And we'd like for the pages and staff and everyone to come because we particularly want to make this a great day for Dr. Farman. It is a great day. And we appreciate you being with us today, and thank you very much.